have uh, recently characterized the dynamics of uh, soluble proteins uh, in, in, in great detail and we are at the moment exploring the um, uh, functional uh, importance of, of those but also um, the, the kinetics which is involved in, in the dynamics and we have introduced some um, new techniques in order to um, measure those uh, dynamics also at faster timescales than that was previously uh, possible so that is one of the um, most recent um, uh, achievements where we have uh, gone. Another one is uh, on more applied field in neurodegeneration uh, where we are trying to characterize um, the um, influence of uh, intensely disordered proteins that aggregate and that lead to um, diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, uh, diabetes 2, uh, but also uh, Kreuzfeld-Jakob disease. We are working on, on many systems. Um, for example, I mentioned the signal transduction and so on, which is uh, working on, 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 on bacteria. And, and there, I mean, our work is more on the, on the basic mechanisms and, and one doesn't really know where it leads to and uh, I should also mention that of course um, since I'm working with Max Planck and Max Planck once said that uh, basic understanding has to precede applications so biomedical applications is also something that is coming um, behind. Nevertheless uh, I should mention that uh, maybe the most advanced project that we are doing at the moment is uh, on neurodegeneration where um, in a joint effort, not only by NMR spectroscopy, we have characterized structural transitions between monomeric, oligomeric and, and fibrillar states. We have also been uh, able to actually influence and divert uh, aggregation pathways with a small molecule. Um, and um, I mean, th this may lead at some point in time to uh, uh, testing on, on humans.